two dudes reviewing the news pop culture video games movies and shoes quincy and justin with a nerdy forecast so stay a while and welcome to the ugly mugs podcast welcome to the mugs podcast i'm your host quincy and you're the host justin and i'm continuing my holly jolly bullshit with another christmas sweater yeah, I don't got no, I don't got no Christmas sweater yet, but I'm cool. I'm cool. Yeah. Find your lack of cheer disturbing. That's fine. I am very uncheerful. I am the bah humbug of this of this household. I get enough of that from my mom. I'm gonna make you. I'm gonna make you holly jolly. What about that uh, Christmas song I sent you? <laughs> the, it, it's good, <laughs> the, but the it's great not. Old it, ones. It's not gonna. It's not gonna immediately give me that. I'm a holly jolly. I just gotta find an extension cord for that. That's yeah. what'll do it. Uh, we'll see. <laughs> uh, so I'm drinking some eggnog. Uh, this one's Anderson Deli. It's not the Fireball one. Yeah. The Fireball one would probably be pretty good with some Fireball on it. <laughs> I say, maybe that'll give me some cheer. <laughs> uh, I'm just having a good old kickstart. Keep me awake. I, I'm, I'm on vacation to, uh, from my job, so the least I can do is have a little bit more, you know, lean back. Um, We'll get you back on teas eventually, I'm sure. Yes. I almost bought you a tea today because um, we were at a... The Van Gogh store. Oh, yeah? Um, at the Aria, picking up some Christmas gifts. And they had a uh, Van Gogh berry. Oh, I like Gogh. The problem was it was expensive. <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, it, you, you showed me a few of the products. Yeah. And, and, and I was just like, like, Jesus. It's a gift shop to an event or an exhibit. So I was already like, art exhibit, gift shop. And then it's on the strip in the Aria. So. Yeah. So they mark that price up. Um, Big time. But yeah, nothing, nothing too too flashy today. But uh, I, I, since I've been on vacation, I've been watching some things, playing some things. Starting off with uh, something I knew was going to be adequate, and that's to literally say the least. And that is uh, JoJo Part Six Stone Ocean. Uh, I knew it was going to be very vulgar to start off. That's pretty much all I have to really say about it. Um, it's very good. It is very out there. It is a bizarre adventure. As long as you're enjoying it, that's what matters. Yes. It is just... It's... Crass. That's the best way of putting it. It's very crass. And it, it is... Just, it, it It's what I remember of Part 6. I read most of Part 6. I never... There was no anime adaptation of it until now. Gotcha. Um, but uh, Netflix exclusive, which is very weird. Netflix has been buying up animes. Yeah, I think they actually own a company either in Korea or in Japan, maybe both. Hmm. It's an anime studio. I think they bought a studio. Because there was one anime that was Netflix exclusive for a little bit before it jumped off that, too. Well, I think Seven Deadly Sins was for a bit. Seven Deadly, it? you're right. Yeah. You're correct. And then Jujutsu Kaisen, I think? I saw it on there. I don't know if it might have been exclusive. I wasn't but, really paying attention. And then Netflix is also getting all the exclusivities on these live-action versions. Yeah. Yeah, but even still, Jojo Part 6, if if you're into really good detectiving with more pieces than solutions, maybe Jojo Part 6 might be a good go-to. If you want a good part to start off with, Part 3 is always the best, in my opinion. Part 4, Part 2, they're all good. It's just Part 3 and 4. No, we're going to watch some Dragon Ball GT. Uh, can Can you take me home? <laughs> I would, I do not, I, I tried, I honestly tried getting into I, I GT. I tried. <laughs> yeah, no, I, I made it four episodes into GT before I was just like, I don't know what's going on. It, it, it wanted to, like, go back to Toriyama's roots with, like, Chrono Cross mm-hmm. and stay there, but nobody wanted to go with, so he was just like, hey, hey, stop it, <laughs> you help um, me, it, it's Trunks, you all remember Trunks, right? <laughs> Y'all remember Pan? Pan's the young one. The the instant I heard non-canon, I went, cool. Yeah, he, yeah, and he kind of turned that back around, but there was also rumors that he didn't have anything to do with it. I don't know nothing about nothing. I heard it was made by the fans. Yeah, I don't, I once again don't know nothing about nothing. I just know that it was boring, didn't like it, and then we got Super, which is pretty good. It's not, it's not the Dragon Ball Z we, you know, grew up with. It's not Kai, which cuts out all the filler. Um, I'm gonna but, get so many text messages about this. What the the guy? Yeah, we're just talking about Dragon Ball in general. Oh, from who? James. Really? Yeah. yeah. I mean, this Dragon Ball's a shit. 
I, I like Dragon Ball. His dad will text us both a bit like, and ask questions about Dragon Ball, and I'm like, I have no idea. And then James will come out with like an essay. <laughs> I like, and I'm I, like, I, I like Dragon Ball. I like Dragon Ball Z. <laughs> GT can go fuck itself. Anybody, anybody want to talk Spider Man? I can do Spider Man. I can I can talk Star Wars. I can I can do Spider Man. I can talk a little bit of Star Wars, not a hell of a lot. I'm starting to learn. Um, I'm very far behind still. But. I mean, you've seen all the core movies. Yes. And that's the biggest thing. Um, next, I would say, sit down and watch Clone Wars. Uh, yeah. That's, I, I've, I'm maybe a season into it. Yeah. There are two seasons. I'm two seasons into it. I don't think I've gotten more past the first season yet. It's, it's I want to watch Bad Company. And or Bad Wars. Batch. Or Bad Batch. Not Bad Company. Yeah, Bad Batch. Um, yeah, it's, it's a bit knuckle-draggy, in my opinion. But that's because, I guess, I'm not a dedicated fan. Hmm. Because that's the other reason why I haven't done Mandalorian. I'm not a dedicated fan. So. So good. It's good, but is it, so you know, get me through all the way? I mean, even Sox was telling me to get through it, and I'm like, okay, 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 okay. I, I, I hear you. I will definitely do that. I mean, there's some great stuff in, in that show that <clears throat> even for the lighter fan, they'll be like, holy fuck. And then there's just a lot of stuff where it's like, it's one of those shows that it, it does what, you know, Kind of, because there is Jedi stuff in it, but it does what mm-hmm. Rogue One did really well. It was told, told a Star Wars story without Jedis. Mm. And um, Mandalorian, there's some Jedi stuff in it, of course, but it's still doing a decent job at, like, we're not using lightsabers, we're not focusing on the Force for everything. Yeah. Um, and we're we're also talking about the darker side of just the space in general. Yeah. Uh, outer rim shit. Yeah. Um, so you're recommending the JoJo thing. Um, go in, go in with an open mind and an even more open mind. <laughs> subbed or dubbed? Uh, both. It is featured with both. Um, I went in with the dubbed just because I wanted, I wanted to hear it. It's not bad. It's not bad. Uh, there are a few parts that would be better, of course, in Japanese, but I'm not mad. Um, of course, some of the stand names had to change, such as, uh, White Snake had to change to Pale Snake. Um, Goo Goo Dolls had to change to GD, GG Dolls. Um, because of, you know, legal rights, legal so rights. Yeah. yeah, but I'm not mad. I, I can't be mad at that. Uh, killer queen managed to keep their name because of some ungodly reason, but not mad. Maybe they weren't asking for anything. I, I guess maybe, I mean, they changed everything. ACDC changed to ECDC. Hmm. So I, I don't know the whole rights and reasonings. I had a guy in Traverse State whose license plate was ACDC. Really? Yeah. It was a Raiders plate, but yeah. So half good, half bad. Yeah, I don't watch football. So uh, <laughs> football, I can't shit talk. Um, I mean, I'm yeah. from the Bay Area. I technically should be either a Raiders fan or a Niners fan. I'm neither. Neither. Uh, I just don't care about football. Um, but yes, I do recommend it. Speaking of recommending things, the oh, most crazy God. game. So I did stream this for a little bit. Yeah. Yeah. It's. Deer Simulator. It is Deer Simulator. Four, D, four E's in Deer. And starting off, you get to create a human person. Okay. Do they slowly become more and more deer-like? No. You oh. get hit by a car and get reincarnated as a deer. Okay. And you get put on this island, which you can destroy everything, hop up onto two legs, look like a JoJo character, and start punching things. Uh, as you run, when you run through something, it does damage and knocks it off its off its way you can pick up guns and it attaches to where your antlers were what's the thing in the sky that's a um that is like a sky god and apparently there's an achievement for destroying it okay um there's a building off to the right of this image where there is a, a big what looks to be maybe a big old apartment building and there's a giant koala hanging off of it Okay. And if you hit the koala, the koala shoots eye beams at you. Well, as a koala is bound to do. As a koala is bound to do. And then, of course, if you're destroying the city, you got the police coming after you. The first level is, is sheep. Second level is polar bears with police cars on their back. Third level is uh, bunny rabbits with oversized ears. And the fourth level is a dog. A big old doggo. Just one? Just one. I'm not going to spoil that. Okay. Yeah, it's a, it's a fucking trip. Um, I got one of the two endings um, that were given to me. There might be more, but... These simulator games are fucking wild. And it's made by the guys who did... Um, I Am Bread. I Am Bread. 
and there's a couple billboards in the alternative world. Yes, there's an alternative world of that. There is. Huh? I said, of course there is. Yeah, of course there is. Um, where you uh, get to see some billboards. I like seeing billboards for games inside of other games that they've made. Gotcha. I like that. That's always like, hey. What was it? Was it um, Rainbow Six Vegas that the advertisements on the streets would actually update for whatever movie was being sponsored? Oh, I don't know, but that sounded like it would, would have been something Rainbow Ubisoft Six, would have done. I think it was Rainbow Six Vegas, but I could be wrong. Like, the, the billboards... To like the street levels would change for whatever movie was being advertised. Hmm. I mean, Ubisoft like real life movies. Yeah, Ubisoft does seem like would be one to be like, hey, you guys are gonna pay for a little bit of that thing that someone's yeah. gonna walk by. Virtual, only virtual ad space. That is a fucking boggle, man. I mean, but look at Chipotle with freaking Roblox. Oh, that. Oh, and Nike. And Nike. And probably FedEx. I'm oh. just assuming. Yeah, I mean, shit, there's a lot out there. <laughs> the Purple Promise. Uh, but do I recommend this game? Wholeheartedly, I do. It is a very fun trip. It is... It's on Game Pass if you're sitting there going, I'm not paying for fucking deer so much. Well, if you have an Xbox and Game Pass, get get in it. It's, it's, it's pretty good. And yeah, it's available for PC. And so it can be on the PC Game Pass. Mm-hmm. Okay. Something so, I've been playing the last two days. I haven't touched this yet. We bought it, but I haven't touched it yet. Um, it is very fun. So what we're talking about is Destiny 2's uh, 30 year, uh, 30th anniversary just popped up, and it added a lot of fun things. 30 years of an 8-year-old game. <laughs> yeah. And it's 30 years of Bungie. But yes, you are correct. Fuck, I don't uh, think I'm right on 8 years. It's less than that, isn't it? Uh, Destiny 2? Yeah. Oh, just Destiny in general. Oh, Destiny in general? What, 2012? No. You don't think so? No. Destiny. I go 2014. Really? Oh, 2014. Ooh. Good job. Okay, but even still, 30 year anniversary trailer uh, showcased a lot of interesting things, and hopping into it didn't really. Uh, it didn't disappoint. It was very fun. Um, there is a new uh, dungeon called the uh, something of avarice. Let me yeah. turn this down so that way I can do this safely. Uh, that thing. Totally, I know exactly what he's talking about. Yeah, the Dares of Eternity is the six player thing that I've been doing all day. If anyone ever says, "Hey, are you up for some Dares?" and I'm available, I am down for it. They are fun as hell. Uh, Grasp of Everest, uh, which is the dungeon which kind of has you doing. Um, kind of like a treasure island style thing, because uh, in the middle of it, there's like a little skull in the back. It's it's interesting. Um, it gives you the quest to go and get uh, the Galahorn, and for free, uh, you get the quest called Magnum Opus for the Magnum. Hmm. Um, and the Magnum right now is a little busted in PvP because unshielded targets get dealt... A little bit more damage so that's a little bit more uh, <laughs> uh and then everybody using the galahorn uh quickly realized that the galahorn now has another additional perk which means every time you shoot a rocket next to someone else they get the ability called um wolf pack wolf pack uh, rounds i don't know what it was called even still it, i'm not talking about because i remember hearing about it but i don't remember yeah. what it's called so i i worry at what that's gonna do for certain builds if it's anything like what I'm thinking it is with the um, linear fusion rifle meta, the, the bosses are being easily taken down. So, I watched a um, a TikTok, a one minute long TikTok of uh, Vault of Glass from the point of them being able to hurt. Uh, I forget his name. the The main boss guy in Vault of Glass okay. to maybe forty seconds in. He was done for. I'm tired of struggling, so I'm fine with that. Yeah, fair enough. I mean, but it's it's a it's a raid. You're supposed to at least go through at least two rotations calmly. But if you can ace it in one, I would love to do a, a, a one phase. This is also, you know, with the concept of you have heavy ammo. You haven't wasted it all. You couldn't imagine to go in there any fucking louder, could you? No, you didn't either, <laughs> stupid asshole. Go ahead with what you were saying. <laughs> Um, you gotta make sure you have heavy ammo, mm -hmm. and you gotta make sure you don't miss. Well, that's the other thing; it has homing. Okay, for you, not for the people who gave wolf backgrounds. Yeah, right? yeah. But um, with the thirty-year, thirtieth uh, 
anniversary trailer. It showcased a lot of interesting guns, thousand yard stare, um, a halo energy sword looking, um, the battle rifle, and so on, and so on. I, I love already... that they purposely dropped this the day before Halo Infinite came out. Yeah, right. Uh, they, they are making sure they are going to be in whatever game is played between the two games. They are wanting to be the number one most. Played. They're not Halo anymore. I know. I'm saying that they did it to you know fight to, Halo. I know, but what I'm saying is they, they're both Microsoft. No. Bungie's not Microsoft. Bungie's not Microsoft? Bungie's its own company. That's what why, is it? That's why you play this on PlayStation. Well, I get that, but... No, Bungie, Bungie is its own thing that took off um, after Microsoft... Uh, they, they, so they, so they, they separated left, from... Yeah, they separated from Microsoft. Okay, I was like, I'm pretty sure this, Bungie was strictly... Well, yeah, because well, before they were Bungie, they were... What, what was it before they were Bungie? They were something else. Mm. Whatever it was. You know what I'm talking about. Um, they had a different name. It was Tagbox Game Studios. Or an organization, Game Studios. Wait, wait, that's their parent org. Okay, I'm not gonna read too much into it. But Bungie branched out and left Halo to Microsoft. Yes, Bungie that does idea. not do anything with Halo anymore. Oh, that's three industries. Oh, that's yeah. who does Halo now. Yeah, that's who does Halo now. Yes, but I. I thought that Bungie was just lean more toward, like how, let's say, who who made something for, uh, let's say, if Miles Morales, you know, mm-hmm. that's Sony exclusive, if it moved from Sony over to Xbox, they're still primarily, Insomnia is primarily for Sony. But Insomniac is still its own company. Right, but they And there's no way contracted. in hell they would move Miles, because Insomniac does not own Miles, Sony owns Miles. Oh, they just Sony owns Spider Man. They did publishing, not developing. I get you, yeah. but my but so I guess it would be my query still stands. Of would you still say that they are not a Sony branded company? They're though? not a Sony branded company. They're own. They're their own company. It's just most of their work has been with Sony. But if you think about it, they did an exclusive for Xbox. They did Sunset Overdrive. Oh, that's right. Which now Sony has bought the rights to, and so Sunset Overdrive Two will be a PlayStation exclusive. Okay, and then. I, everything I'm saying is moot, so <laughs> I, I, I'm not going to sit here and try and... It's on X, its own company. It's it not, is, it is, it is, it it's, is. It's not owned I've, by, by, uh, by a Sony. But with Bungie, I could have sworn they fully broke ties with Microsoft, but now this is saying that they didn't grant that this is Wikipedia. I could be wrong. The point being, I feel like Bungie did this on purpose, whether it was something that they were told to by Xbox, I doubt. I feel like Sony probably, not Sony, uh, Bungie probably went, well, you know, Halo Infinite's coming out. Let's do something big right before that. And this this is pretty big. This is I like this uh, this update, this event, this entire event so far. I haven't even done the dungeon, and I'm sitting here like, I want to do this on Legendary. I want to do this as soon as someone, if, if I get a crew, I want in. On October 5th, 2007, Bungie announced that it had split from Microsoft and became a privately held independent company, Bungie LLC, while Microsoft retained ownership of the Halo franchise intellectual property. It signed a 10-year publishing deal with Activision in April 2010. Uh, the first project was uh, the 2014 first-person shooter Destiny, which was followed by Destiny 2 in 2017. January 2019, Bungie announced it was ending this partnership and would take over publish- uh, publishing for Destiny. So yes, they are their own company. Mm-hmm. It's saying parent right there. It's just there now. It says that. when you open up Wikipedia, it says parent 2000 2007 for Microsoft Game Studio. Okay, that should not be showing it as a parent company when you're on the regular Google page and looking at just the general breakdown. Yes. because then it leads to this confusion. I fucking knew Bungie was on their own. Yes. So yeah, that, them releasing it the day before um, Halo is definitely a stab at Microsoft. Either that or they had this planned and they were just like, well, everybody's moving forward. Does whatever. Yeah. <laughs> I call it a stab. You think so? Yeah, well, why the fuck wouldn't it be? I don't know. I'm happy. It doesn't matter. If I'm happy, it doesn't matter. I, I'm going to be playing I'm not this. saying there's anything wrong with it. It's just it's, it's, it's business. Just a, what the fuck? <laughs> it's that. intellectual property. Right. One, one flip-flop says McDonald's. Not Donald's. Donald's. <sighs> and the other one says Nikki. N-K-I-E. Let's move on. Okay. <laughs> so you're enjoying... The Bungie 30th anniversary. I sure am. Um, the, I haven't gotten the Gallarhorn yet. Hopefully, I will. I already got the Magnum. Uh, the uh, Magnum's doing pretty good. Um, 
the event has you going through a game show hosted by the good old Zer. That doesn't his, sound terrifying at all. No. I mean, it's actually really fun. I, I find it to be probably the, the, the most fun event I've been in aside from the SIVA virus back in the uh, beginning of Destiny 2. But, yeah, I like it. It's good fun. Boop. Uh, get out of here. You, you showed me this controller. I want to know how much this thing weighs. I want to know if I can crack someone over the skull with this thing. So this is the first third-party controller for the PlayStation 5 and PC. Um, it's from Scuff. S-U-F. And I, I, I found it very funny that they wanted to call it Scuff. It's got grips. It's got multi-triggers on the back. It's got uh, the regular triggers on the front. It's got the little touchpad in the middle. Um, it's got nothing, no markers for the button layouts. Um, some joysticks. I, I hope they glow. Do they glow? And a capture button. I want them to glow. Do they glow? I don't think they do. Oh. That actually makes me agitated. So the reflex, go back up. Oh. The reflex uh, FPS starts at $259.99 coming 2022. Let's see. Excuse me. The other one is the reflex pro, which starts at $229.99. And then just a regular reflex is 200 bucks. What's the difference? What 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 makes me what what is it? Oh, non grip, non non slip grip. Mm. So something I could solve with a five dollar piece from Walmart. Right. Ooh. Or even less if I just put some tape on it. <laughs> Watch video. You know, let me see what we got here. Cause I want to see if they if they illuminate. That'd be super nice. I don't with think like they do because they would show it in the images. They would. Because but... they're showing that that illuminates. Right. They're just boring, bland-ass buttons. Oh, that's so Three custom profiles, so it does change colors, green, red, and blue. Um, and then the custom profiles, I would assume, is for your pre-programmed uh, button layouts for PC. Right. So with a switch of a button. Thumbsticks, mute your microphone with a button press. That's cool. But I want to... You're right. That is... It's a nice style. I can see why people would like it. But I would hope that it would like have LED marks, you know, just mm-hmm. with like a shine through. It doesn't need to be an LED screen, but I think they should have, you know, at least done something for the buttons. They're just boring black buttons. Uh, if you scroll further down on the page, now after you close the video, you'll see your technical specs, so you can know how much it weighs. Right. Uh, technical specs. Uh, oh, there we go. Tech specs. Wait, is this Steel Series? Hold on. It's what Steel Series? Um, oh, okay. I just saw the S, and it made, it made me think of Steel Series. But uh, all right, wait. Three hundred grams. What is that in? <laughs> what is that in pounds? Okay, less than a pound. I mean, you could probably still kill someone with it. You probably could. Don't whip. Don't be whipping controllers. You'll hurt someone. Please don't. Uh, it has compatibility to PlayStation Five, Windows Seven Plus, uh, Mac OS is Catalina Plus, and iOS Ten Plus, and Androids. I guess at least it has Catalina. That's the, the new one for Mac OS. That's what the new computer's running on. Copy. Uh, wireless range up to 45 feet. Wait. Warranty is six six month warranty. Not bad. I'm glad that you have a six month warranty. No, I think I think Big Sur is the one after Catalina, but it says Catalina Plus, so it would be after Catalina. Yes. Okay. I don't know. It's been a bit since I've been paying attention to Mac OS. Right. Uh, compare models, and then this one has it all. Uh, a breakdown of like instant triggers and bumpers, adaptive triggers. So you literally can't get a version that has everything. No, I guess you can't. There's straight up and one that doesn't vibrate. What the fuck? Vibration modules. I. Uh, that's weird. I need vibration, man. Go back up. How much is that one? That's you want the, me to spend two hundred and sixty dollars for my controller not to fucking vibrate? Yeah. I'm out. Yeah, I'm out. Um, and then all three of them, no customization across the board. <laughs> I was looking at those customization controllers for uh, Xbox the other day. Let's see. Let's see what they got. Let's see what they got real quick. I was talking about. Oh, this is Corsair. Okay, so, so this you is said Steel st- before. Uh, uh, uh st- yeah. Um, so Corsair and Steel Series they work together often. Uh. I just don't know. I don't know if that is Steel Series because I don't know what that little doohickey is there. Ooh, I like that. Looks kind of small. I mean, I I like compact. I like the original Xbox Series. The Duke. Yeah. It, it, well, no, oh. no, 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 no. The Series S controller that came with the series, but 
I, I'd, I'd probably mess around with that. Ooh. That's a lot like the um, PlayStation thing we were just looking at, but I guess the big difference is, one, you can customize this one, and two, the buttons actually have X, Y, B, and A on them. Yes. Ooh. Prices now, aren't too bad. Yeah, 170. They're more expensive than the custom controllers from Xbox, though. Yeah, and I wonder what, like, custom, custom, because I want to know if, like, you can actually go in and, let's see. Put Waffles the cat on it. <gasps> Ooh. Impact, $159.99 for PlayStation. PlayStation. But, uh, yeah. Yeah. There we go. Customize. Now, can I just upload an image? Um. I mean, if you can't, I'm pretty sure you get a sticker made and stick it on there. Yeah. <laughs> Doesn't look like it. Oh. Signature, ultra camos, camos, face plates, designs. Ooh. I might not have to. I like that one. Charter. I like Charter. Charter, Charter. So that was Scuff, S C U F. Yes. Yeah, this is the first third-party controller that they've allowed for the PlayStation 5 so far. Hmm. Um, I do believe I remember seeing something about PlayStation as going after a company or broke a deal with a company or something along those lines that was supposed to be doing customizable faceplates for the PlayStation 5. Hmm. And I don't know. I don't know. I just... I'm iffy on all the customizations. Well, customi- you know customization. I mean? Thank you. Uh, stuff for, so, uh, for Sony and PlayStation. Um, another PlayStation news, uh, they have released the working prod, uh, progress. Oh, I like that comic one. Hmm? Um, oh. they've released, uh, images of a like work in progress, new VR headset for PlayStation. The screen is, um, really small, fit in your hand, only about the size of your face, like your eyes and can do 8k. Ooh. Yeah. All right, Sony, look at you. Still work in progress, and I'm sure it'll be yeah, pricey. Mm-hmm. Hopefully it doesn't take up all the fucking ports on the console like the previous VR did. Well, with, with the way things are working, something tells me it'll be um, wireless. Mm. I'm hoping. It's just I, you know, I have the, the PlayStation 4 VR, and it takes up, all I think, all but one USB port on the uh, PlayStation. That's ridiculous. And considering your controller batteries don't last worth shit, you need that port to charge. Bum, ba bum, ba bum. <laughs> Mothman. So, Fallout uh, 76 is now gone because Justin's hit buttons. <laughs> Fallout 76 is doing their uh, brand new seasonal event, the Mothman Equinox. Um, starting now until December 21st, the Enlightened uh, will begin their ritual at Point Pleasant every hour at the top of the hour. So, um, anyone that's been mean to get Mothman, uh, Mothman shit done, now is your chance. Go get some Mothman stuff and kill some fucking cultists. As one does. Yeah. Um, if you do really quickly, very carefully, uh, scroll through the comments, and it's everyone doing those eyes back at Xbox, but in different colors, and then Xbox was doing it back at them. Aww. Oh, it was. Mm. Oh, it's gone. <laughs> yeah, me. <laughs> there you go. Oh, there we go. Yeah, and so there was a bunch of it, and they would just do different colors back. Then, yeah, Fallout did it in yeah. return. That's very I nice. I said Xbox, I meant Fallout. Hmm. But yeah, very nice. Very, very wholesome. Yeah, so, you know, just a fun little thing to get people back into uh, Fallout 76. I do believe we're also getting a new step in the Brotherhood of Steel Superman uh, event, or not event, but storyline. Hmm. So, all righty. But up, up, shoe news. So, an update, a very strange update on the uh, Pokemon Converse that we talked about a couple weeks back with all the uh, Chuck Taylors and the slip-ons and whatnot. We only were able to find the actual... Descriptors, webpage. the yeah, the descriptors in the web page, uh, through an Italian website. website. What's their currency? It uh, euro, euro, yeah, euro. I don't know. I That's don't why know, I asked you. I mean, it looks like euro. Hold on, boop. Oh uh, yeah, it's euro. Cool, but uh, it, even so, we had to go through Italian, and when we put it to uh, the United States, it gave us a hey, we'll notify you. And we're like, but why can't we just... Yeah, you can't view the shoes on the U.S. website. You have to go to the Italy website to view them and see release dates. Right. Uh, and prices. So we're going to give you the stuff in euros. euros. So uh, the whole set will be releasing December 10th, so two days from now. Yes. 
Um, we've got the Meowth ones we've already covered. We've got the black and white ones with a bunch of Pokemon on it. But we got ones we didn't see before, which is, um, I think it's a, it might be a kid shoe. With Pikachu's face on the front, um, down at the toes, and some ears sticking up. We got Jigglypuff strap, uh, strap shoes. Um, so with those, we're going 75 for the first one, 55 for the second, 45 uh, for the third, and 45 for the fourth. Oh, toddler. Toddler. There we go. Yeah. Well, was that, and one of those says little kid. Yeah, little kid. So it was unisex high tops, uh, little kid high top, toddler, toddler. Okay, okay. If we just do a Google search for the Pokemon Converse, this is actually the first thing that comes up is the Italian site. Which is kind of interesting. Oh, heads up. Even though some say December 10th, some say December 15th. Oh, okay. So uh, maybe those are the newer ones that were added to this list because I don't remember seeing those ones from before, the ones you were on before. Yeah. Uh, no, and then, up. Oh, up these? Yeah, I, uh, oh, those are just... Yeah, I didn't remember seeing those ones, but those are still the same date. And they're customizable. Oh. Yeah, we can't actually click on them, I guess. Yeah. I wonder if any of this has to do with oh. the... Oh, no, you lost it. No, I didn't. No, I didn't. Did I lose it? Oh, no. Oh, no. Well, we can't finish looking at them. Oh, no. Um, I'm wondering if any of this... Or the website may have gotten pulled. I'm wondering if any of the stuff that's going on with the website has to do with um, all of the server errors and issues that we're having from uh, the Amazon servers being down. Maybe. That's affecting I hope a lot so. of companies. Because I didn't mean to. But there was a new backpack that had lightning bolts and what seemed to have been a Pikachu down at the bottom that I wanted to get a better look at. But oopsie doopsie. Hmm. Well, now here's for your uh, nerdy uh, shopping. Yes. So, Hot Topic. Pretty okay store. I, I like it. Uh, it, it, fulfills, it fulfills a very niche genre. I wouldn't say niche, but... Well, back in the day it did. Back in the day it did. Not anymore. Yeah, not anymore. Um... I don't mind Hot Topic. I feel like there's always a sale going on on Hot Topic because their shit is always way too expensive. And but. so I feel like the sale puts it more at what the price is supposed to be, which sometimes is still too damn expensive. I don't understand why I have to spend like $30 on a shirt sometimes. Yeah. Um, that being said, they have all kinds of stuff in store and on their website, and there's a sale as of uh, 7.07 Pacific Standard Time on December 8th. There is 50% off for another 4 hours, 52 minutes, and 34 seconds. Yes. It, like, caught up all of a sudden. Did you see that? Mm -hmm. It went from 52 seconds and then just down to 30. Oh, now it's not counting. Oh, 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 oh. There it goes. All right. The sale is going to end soon. So there's 50% off uh, site-wide, um, or up to 50% off site-wide. So uh, make sure you check to see what it's going on. There's also a get 30% off deal going on. There's also free pickup in store with an extra 5% off or free shipping with a $60 purchase. And we are not sponsored by them by any way, shape, or form. We just like good deals. Hmm. We're just telling you to hurry up and get your Christmas shit done. Or yeah. your Hanukkah or Kwanzaa or whatever or holiday your, um, I'm missing. What is it, Life Day? Have you ever watched the holiday special? Yes. The original, not the new Lego one. Uh, yes. Okay. The the one with the, uh, the 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 fuzzy gentleman doing the huge smile. Uh, son. Yeah, um, I watched the Rift Tracks version. Oh that, no! That almost makes it bearable. Oh, I want to watch it just to watch it. I think now. it's on YouTube. Okay. I think. Oh man, that hurt my neck thinking about it. Oh. So there's all kinds of new Spider-Man gear. Uh, mm -hmm. There's some cool little uh, figures for. Um, the Night Before Christmas. There's Spider-Man pajama bottoms. Uh, there's AEW wrestling shirts. At least the CM Punk one. Um, you got some Funko Pops, like Strange with a shovel. Is that a shovel? That looks like a shovel. shovel. It oh, looks... it's from the shoveling out the snow in the trailer. Gotcha. Ah. Uh, Fucking or on High Host Club. I got like I... four episodes into that, and I just I didn't go back, and I don't, don't know why. Do you not? It's it's wholesome. It is very slice of life, but you don't need to, my friend. Okay. It is it is not. Okay. It it shows its age. Um, some very interesting pop culture zombie makeout club. No, do you know what that is? Uh, no, but I wasn't an anarchy punk person, so fair enough. Uh, Ghostface uh, sweater. I know that there's also uh, Ghostface uh, sleep pants because Lauren sent them to me. I don't know if you saw the back of it. I'm gonna watch a scary movie. <laughs> um, a couple interesting uh, cover style. One with Edward Scissorhands and one with uh, a very dark uh, Spider-Man. Is this? Yeah, it's Black Suit Symbiote. Um, so this is Amazing Spider-Man, th oh, not 300. Um, yeah, 300. 300. Okay, yeah. Amazing Spider-Man 300. Cool. Okay. Well, I second-guess myself a lot on things like that. 
Yeah, because you got a lot of info in that noggin. It's bursting at the seams. It is. Uh, Pleasant Getaway Raven Skull. Ah, where are we? Why? Their okay. website's acting buggy, too. Everything's acting buggy. I hope we're doing just fine. Same like it. Yep. We only dropped 1% of our frames. We're good. Uh, Squid Games has been kicking off, so you get a Squid Game shirt down here. Uh, Lilo and Stitch. Uh, Ohana Best Friend um, Earring Necklace. 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 Necklace, Necklace hat. Uh, but this is just the stuff that's showing up in like the new arrival area. There's two specific things we want to talk about that we brought their collections up for. That too. is correct. Oh Jesus Christ! Great, now the fucking site's loading like we're in the '90s, running off the of goddamn Christmas stuff. Yeah, I know, right? We're, um, not, we're not dropping frames, so everything should be. Pooh working. Bear cardigans, Nightmare Before Christmas Ooh. cardigans. If I wore earrings, I'd probably buy those. The problem is they're not surgical steel. Really? None of their earrings are. So Lauren can't buy any of the earrings from Hot Topic because none of them are surgical steel. It, does it say such? Alloy. Yeah. yeah. No. And so she gets ear infections from them. Yep. My mother's the same way. Yeah. Ooh. All right. But yes, you are correct. We brought up two collections. Boom. The Witcher is the first one. And some of this actually looks really cool. Uh, this uh, cosplay hoodie has like the, the, the bracer style straps, straps yeah. and these really nice pockets i i would definitely wear that it looks really good and then you got on the next one a pinstripe with the witch medallions kind of strung in and a dress that kind of falls into the uh the same thing with a little bit of yennefer. yeah it's a yennefer symbol oh okay and yeah. it's bell sleeves for anyone that knows what that means ah that's just the way the yeah, this, yeah, yeah, I see that. I'm just I saying for that. anyone listening, it's that's mostly an auditorial thing. <laughs> and then plus size, and then you got something for Jasker. Good old Jasker. Is there anything for Daisy? Uh, <sighs> Did they leave Daisy out? Jennifer, or of not, course. Not Daisy. Daisy. Dandelion? Dandelion. Dandelion. Mm. I think the only thing we might get is a pop, if anything. Nope. Siri got one, though. Uh. You might not get a dang thing. Yeah, no, nothing. But these figures are actually really nice looking. Yeah, uh, the figures are currently, they're on online exclusive. They're not selling these in stores. Ooh. But they're currently knocked down to 48 for one of them and 21 for the other. Yeah, 20, uh, 21 dollars for uh, Shawnee. I don't know who Shawnee is, but that, that figure looks really nice. Um, and, of course, you got, like, the Nightmare Before Christmas stuff. But the other one we're going to talk about is something that kind of boated in with some shoe news from a long Wait a minute. Go time. back up. Go back up? To what? Oh. Um, to when the website was working. Yeah. Uh, okay, no, go down. Sorry, I didn't realize we were so far up. It's okay. Keep going. Okay. Uh, Keep going. Okay. Keep going. Keep going. Hold right there. I'm trying. Load. Uh, no, okay, it's Jasker. Okay. Um, I was making sure they weren't calling um, Dandelion by a different name. Uh, okay. Never mind. Okay. Yeah, yeah, so nothing for Dandelion. Okay. Kind of pisses me off. Oh. Well, I'm going to go ahead and close out of this because this is killing This is killing the, the whole entire Firefox for some godly reason. There we go. All right. So uh, you said this ties into shoes. How so? Uh, long, long time ago, like our first year, we had Iron Maiden Rebox? I don't remember. I know that when I was in high school, Iron Man did a crossover with Vans, but that was... I think that might have been it. Like, it was like a revamp. I don't even want to think about how long ago that was. I want to say that we ran into Iron Maiden, because I remember seeing the uh, the good old Skull, Skull guy with the... He has the... a name. Does he? Yeah, I don't remember what it is. <laughs> <laughs> I don't listen to... I don't listen to the, the light theme of Twitch. Also, hello, chat. The light theme of Twitch? What's going on? Well, uh, she's having to use her phone. It, it, this is we're, this is dark theme. To think this could be pure white. Yeah, but don't you have it? Uh, mine's dark on my phone. Mm-hmm. You can change it. Mm-hmm. Interesting. Um, but I don't remember his name. Uh, no. But even still, I remember seeing a, a a shoe. I don't recall what may who made it. I, re, I just remember that we did talk about Iron Maiden shoes at one point. I'm looking up the character's name. Olgi, Olgi, Eddie, Eddie, good old Eddie. I fucking knew you had a name. But uh, I need but the crossover that we're talking about today is Marvel and Iron Maiden, exclusively at Hot Topic. Exclusively at Hot Topic. Some pretty cool shirts in here. Um, I wish I listened to Iron Maiden a little bit more. I think I have like one Iron Maiden. Did you get the other two that were on that same row? 
Uh, that one, one and the Venom one? And that one, yeah. I just want to see what else there was. Um, I think that's it for that collection. Yeah. Okay. So then um, I'll just do this. I wish I had more than one Iron Maiden song on my phone because this is a pretty cool set. <laughs> but I'm not going to go and buy a bunch of Iron Maiden stuff and I don't know enough about Iron Maiden. Hell, I can't even think of Eddie's name. The Inhuman Villainy of Eddie. Um, and it's done very Thor-esque and very Asgard and the Rainbow Bridge and whatnot. Uh, that one's uh, 1883 currently. That's not bad. 30, 30% off. And then another one of Iron Maiden Brave New World. And then up top you got, oh, that is actually just a set cover. You know, that almost looks like Castle Grayskull instead of Eddie. <laughs> yeah, a little bit. But uh, it's Thanos with his hand up in the air just getting some th- thunderous power from the gauntlet. Uh, that one's also 1883. Yeah. Oh, man. Dude. And then uh, a nice carnage. Yeah. Uh, absolute carnage. Uh, it's just a nice cover looking Iron Maiden Marvel crossover. Boop. Sock says, why is there a thing where people say shops at Hot Topic as an insult in media? Okay. I feel like that's probably from the old days of that, Hot Topic. That is the old days of Hot Topic where people would go in wanting belts on belts on belts on belts while buying a belt. Or, 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 or the, pants. Or the pants called where they were really big and they engulf your foot and they had like the holes. Like, and, like, they were bell bottoms, but there was like another. Yeah, like, because they were like all black. Yeah, yeah, the yeah, 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 yeah. But I don't, it wasn't my style, so I don't, I don't know that stuff. My style was whatever the, the hell my family bought me. It's like a techno, techno. No, it wasn't techno. It was more. It was more of the goth emo look. Yeah, goth techno. Like there was, there was like a, a particular. To be clear, I'm not saying goth and emo are the same thing. I'm just saying that sometimes they crossed with what they would wear. Yes, because dark clothing talks about my life. If you want to sign uh, letters of complaint, they That's will fine. go straight to him. That's fine. I, I handle this kind of stuff. No, it's time. not a belt shop. Nowadays, it's a shop of nerd shit. Yeah. Back in the day, it was a shop of like... Clo- mostly clothes. Banties. Of, yeah. It, it used to have... It was very similar to um, Spencer's Gifts, where they almost had that like back room area. Well, that was a separate company that had their stores inside of Hot Topic. I know what you're talking about, though. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But the they, one they, at Fashion Store still has the spot for it, but it's no longer that. It's just more... Back room. Yeah, it, it's just more regular Hot Topic merchandise. Right, but back then they like used to have like the corsets that used to be like the, the, the string-up thing. Yeah. Like, yeah. You, you know what I'm talking so, about. Oh, Socks also says it's the kind of place to sell Sesame Street merch. Um, and probably does. Uh, they have an entire wall of Funko Pops. I mean, you can that, get Disney exclusives. stuff. You can get anime stuff. You can get literally get... Yeah, they get Chase exclusives for sure. Funkos. Uh, uh, let me look at this one real quick. That's a that's just really nice. That's the Punisher. Uh, is it? It's the Punisher cover. Look, it's the bullseye. Oh, yeah. I guess it is. Or not bullseye, but like the sniper scope. The, yeah, the scope and then the... the okay. Hi-ya. Yeah. And then there, that one's the same price as the others. And there's one more. Uh, one more, but hold on. I want to look up... JJ's. 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 Uh, Z. All right. Let's take a quick little crack at it. Kind of. Yeah, kind of. I mean, you and got the Lola and Bugs. You've got... Attack on Titan. Yeah, this is kind of that Demon feel. Slayer, Scooby Doo with yeah. the tie dye. Yeah, yeah. So yeah, JJ's is probably a good bet. I bet you anything. If you scroll all the way down somewhere, we'll probably see that they're probably the same company. Um, policy term of service. Maybe not. Mm. Yeah. It may. It may be. It's just you know different names for different places. Uh, like yeah. EB Games is our uh, GameStop now. EB Games is its own company. I thought. It. Nope. They bought bought out. How the fuck does GameStop have the money to buy anything? Well, they did they that back buy our used copies. They did that. <laughs> <laughs> ba bumps. I mean, I mean, I think they bought them a long time ago. Uh, if you want to look up when they bought them out, oh, I know they yeah. did. This was a long time ago. Also, thank you for the compliment to our our my shirt, his sweater. Um, he's wearing the uh, I find your lack of cheer disturbing. disturbing. And I'm, of course, wearing my good old uh, Praise the Sun. So JJ's is a, is owned by Just Group. Just Group owns... Well, it looks like Just Group is based out of Melbourne, Australia, so it probably owns a bunch of Australian companies. Gotcha. So this is just a, oh, I saw that over in America. Let's do that here. Yeah. I, okay. Yeah. Um, and then, you want to know about EB Games? Yeah, I'll look it up here. Uh, EB Games owns... Because that's Canada's... Uh, ah, there we go. AB Games Fair Corporation, GameStop. Oh, that sucks. Yeah. 
Uh, there's, there's a video of a guy on, uh, the guy made on TikTok. Um, he ordered some games from uh, GameStop, and first of all, they didn't give him one of the ones he ordered. Like they didn't send it to him at all. Okay. Um, the other thing was uh, he got the wrong version of another game. Similar and to how you did. Um, Mortal Kombat? Kind of. He was trying to buy the VR version of Doom and got the VFR. Or okay. that's reversed. Yeah. Um, and then also there was something he ordered. Like I said, there was something he ordered that just straight up didn't show up. And also they threw in a completely random fucking game he didn't order. And I don't remember what game it was, but it wasn't worth it. It's just GameStop being GameStop. GameStop being GameStop. That's the reason I don't shop there anymore. Yep. The thing is, I probably have $5 on my account still. And I'm like, let that 5 bucks go. Let it go. You can keep it. Um, but back over to the Hot Topic uh, Iron Maiden stuff. Ah, I go. Stop. There we go. Fear of the Dark with a nice little uh, Venom going blah, 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 as one does. And then let's take a look at the back. The back looks like it has a nice cover on it. Oh, that looks really good. That does look good. I like that. That's that's some good McFarlane shit right there. Um, I do find it interesting that... Um... Like, that it's Iron Maiden and it's Marvel, but only a couple of them actually have Iron Maiden stuff other than the name. Yeah. And, the, like, two two of them have pretty much some uh, Eddie stuff. Yeah. yeah. Hmm. Very I mean, good. technically, Eddie's there. <laughs> I... <laughs> Motherfucker. God damn. I can't explain why I'm like this. I... Well, I can't. It's the trauma. I don't explain... <laughs> I'm gonna have me a, a sour patch, so I don't care what wrinkles on the on the. All right, what's next? Ah. Oh, I want to talk about this. Uh, have you ever watched Dragula? No. So um, it started. It's been on I think three different channels, and now it's over on um, uh, Shutter. It's mm-hmm. run by the uh, Boulay brothers, not brothers. Actually, I think they're married. Um, Boulay brothers is their drag persona. Okay. Um, and they're really into horror and whatnot, so they did Dragula. And the concept is they bring drag queens in to do all these horror-themed things, and then they eliminate them. And when they eliminate them, they kill them. No, oh, okay. Um, it's pretty fun. Uh, Shudder picked it up for season four, and Shudder's officially confirmed season five. So if you scroll up just a little bit, you'll up. see why. Yep. Up, up, up. Up, up, up. Okay. In the seven weeks since it premiered, the Blue Ray Brothers Dra- uh, Dragula season four has been the most watched program on Shudder. Um, and then it says, thank you for watching, everyone. We are only getting started, and there's so much more to come. Um, Good stuff. That's from the Blue Lake Brothers. Good stuff. Um, it's a decent show. I didn't see last week's episode because Lauren watched it without me, and this week's episode came out yesterday, and I've just been busy. We haven't watched it yet. Okay. Um, but, yeah, so they'll they'll give them things. Like, they gave them one of, like, they wanted to see everyone dress up as vampires, and it was up to you how you were going to take that. So one guy came out dressed as Nosferatu. Um, one person came out doing, uh, Bill like, go see style. Yeah. And right. the, like there was people that came out doing like, you know, lost boys type of stuff. And Ooh. then they have to like do like a photo shoot together and stuff like that. And they did one where it was reimagining, um, classic horror things stuff like that. One person did, uh, Elvira, but didn't really change anything. And another person did Morticia and it kind of just looked like a jank version of the Elvira. <laughs> but uh, it's interesting also because they've had um, women on the show, which are normally con- considered drag kings. Oh. So normally they dress up as men. Oh, okay. um, and they've also had full transgendered people or transitioned people, which is a big thing because I think they've only had people who have started transitioning on RuPaul's Drag Race, but I could be wrong. It's been a while since I watched RuPaul. Um, but it's kind of like the, the, the horror version of RuPaul's Drag Race. Um, they make people sit in containers of bugs and stuff like that. So a little bit of fear factor type stuff in there. That's part of the elimination thing. The mm. people that are being eliminated. W- would you sit in a, a big old pile of bugs for 50 grand? Bugs? Sure. Yeah. Oh, dude. When, when I was <laughs> watching... One, one time when I was watching, a long, long time ago, someone was like, I ain't eating that for 50 grand. I said, yo, I'll take three. <laughs> I would have done almost anything in that show that they had to do in that show for, <laughs> for the for money that they were offering. For half. I um, I thought the one problem that I would really have would be you know, anything with spiders, but I know that they're not going to let me get hurt, and so I would just do it. Yeah. You know, yeah. I, I would have to fight the fear. It would be really difficult. I'd also be really worried that I would panic and hurt the spider. Yeah. Because, you know, I don't want to hurt a tarantula because I'm panicking. Right. It's not fair to the tarantula. Well, what if it's one of those things of your your head is in that box and they put it on just your so head? Just so that I can't move? Yeah. That would terrify the shit out of me, but I would do it for the money. Yeah, just, just <laughs> go to your zen, zen world. For My zen world? I'd just fucking faint. <laughs> yeah, yeah just, just... 
Well, just no, because just... then the mouth's open. Oh, no. <laughs> he goes in, takes a large shit, and walks out. <laughs> Webs my mouth shut. Um, no, the, the Blue Eight Brothers is fun. Do um, tarantulas movie? do web? Yeah, tarantulas web. Oh. Yeah. Macaroni with the chicken strips. <laughs> oh. That's because of the chat. Uh, yeah, Dragula's fun. Um, I don't know if they have the past seasons on there. I think season three is technically on Netflix. Be careful about scrolling. Uh, and okay. I don't know where season one and two are, but you don't need to watch them to watch the new seasons. I mean, they do have one person that came back on season four that's from a past season, and they do have one person on season four that is an ex RuPaul contestant. Ooh. So, but yeah, it's it's an interesting show. I just want to give them a shout out because congratulations because yeah. they started the show out funding it themselves. Oh. Like the first two seasons or whatever were funded from their pocket. Okay. Yeah. Boop. Colleen O. You said it better than I can. Uh, shit. Uh, Shaughnessy? Shaughnessy. Shaughnessy. Colleen O'Shaughnessy. I hope I'm saying that right. I hope we are too. Um, but the, they're a good old voice actor. And they said, uh, taking my old pound Tails for another adventure. Thrilled to announce that I'm the voice of Miles Tails Prower in Sonic Movie 2. And the um, poster dropped probably about the same time. Mm-hmm. Uh, can't wait to see for you. Can't wait for y'all to see him on the big screen. So, good, 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 good. Yeah. Everyone's moving forward. Um, chat's asking uh, what our thoughts are on Corella. Have you watched it yet? It's on Disney Plus now. So. Uh, with Emma Stone and all that? Yeah. No, nah, I haven't seen it. So, I watched it in theaters, actually. Um, I enjoyed it. Um, kind of rewrites the character in a different light that I can... Is it like understand. an MCU rewrite? What do you mean? <laughs> like, uh, uh, the Fantastic Four, how it could possibly be rewritten. Um, it's a rewrite in the sense that she ain't looking to kill puppies. <laughs> I mean, but yeah. But she's still ruthless in other ways. Yeah. Um, I enjoyed it. I thought Emma did amazing with it. I thought the fashion and everything in it was fucking phenomenal. It was well filmed. Uh, Horace and Jasper were freaking hilarious. And if the movie had been bad, I still would have gone back and watched it for them. Oh, like, really? Yeah, the two of them were great. Um, I think my issue with it is the same issue I've had with all these other ones, which is um, some people are bad to be bad. Some people aren't good people. Stop trying to give an understandable story that as to, oh, I get why they're evil. Because the reality is if she was still a puppy killer, her upbringing, her origins... Should not have brought doesn't that. justify yeah, it. Yeah, no. Um, but she's not a puppy killer, so it's all right. Yay. Yay? Yeah. Yay. Yeah. Yay. She's still a little... No, she's still... But it's understandable and makes more sense than... Then I want those puppies. Yeah. So I want that fur. All right, what's next? Brain made better fun. Oh, right. Um, so it's Total Film did a couple covers with The Rock as uh, Black Adam. Um, and apparently he was not a big fan of his original draft. Yeah, of or the original suit. suit. So they put the suit on him and they had fake muscles on it. It, was like, it probably made him look... Probably he said it looked it. terrible. Ooh. It was probably very uncomfortable. Probably. And also kind of a slap in the face because The Rock's fucking ripped. He is jacked. Um, so he immediately told them that it was an issue and he said that they immediately started cutting pieces out. Yeah, good. And I mean, <coughs> bless you. Thank you. Uh, we immediately saw one that was pretty skin tight. Yeah, he says that basically after they cut everything out, the suit is, all it's doing is like outlining his hard work. So okay. that it like kind of really draws the eye and points out how, uh, you know the the muscles, muscles. and what he's done yeah. because the rock puts a lot of time into his body yeah um i just i i wonder i, I don't know anything about there's a lot of dc i don't know nothing about mm-hmm. so seeing black adam will be will probably be a good intro the other one that I probably would have wanted to have seen is Shazam. It's on uh, HBO Max. Watch it because this is Shazam's main villain. Really? Uh-huh. Oh, villain? Yeah, Black Adam's a bad guy. I didn't know that. Yeah. It's kind of a dictator at one point. <clears throat> Interesting. Did you know The Rock is also in Fortnite? Yeah, I saw the photos. Everybody's in Fortnite. Spider-Man's in Fortnite. Spider-Man, and then you can have Spider-Man fighting Naruto, fighting the Joker, fighting Master Chief, fighting Kratos. I'm going to go to sleep. It's a messed up game, man. We live in a society. <laughs> While they're all wearing Nikes. While they're all wearing Nike. Mm. And watching a virtual concert from Marshmallow. Marshmallow, yes. Travis Scott, probably never, ever again. Probably not. 
No. We won't get into that. Yeah, no, we're not. So, yeah, no, I, you know, I, I like that they listen to The Rock's input, uh, input, and I'm glad they got a costume that he's happy with, they're happy with, you know. It looks good. Especially because we hear a lot about some of these costumes. Like, people are like, I fucking hate it. And nothing ever gets done about it. Mm. Um, sometimes there's nothing you can do about it, I guess. Um, hopefully they start listening to the actor a little bit more about their comfort levels. Mm. That does make me wonder, though. I wanted, I wanted to, like, see what was before, you know? Not, what, not the to... padding? I'm sure it'll, be, it'll probably be in, like, bonus footage on the DVD. Oh, or yeah. Or yeah. Anything. Hell, images of the Nicolas Cage Superman suit are out there. Yeah. That movie already he, he got looks, filmed. He looks so string bean. He looks so tiny in it. It's so weird. Yeah. Ah. Ah, a lot of Spider-Man stuff. A lot, a lot of Spider-Man stuff. Uh, Spider-Man Across the Spider-Verse uh, Part 1 had its little teaser trailer. Uh, Spider-Gwen popping into uh, Miles' room. Yeah, which was teased at the end of Into the Spider-Verse, so mm-hmm. and, saw that coming. And then it gives us a little bit more by throwing him into an actual verse. I don't know what it is, but... Definitely traversing some things, and it looked like a web. It did look like a web. I'm really hoping Madam Web shows up. You, you, you've been wanting Madam Web since, I think, maybe... Far From Home. No, before Far From Home. Well, very simply, it, it put, um, with the events that we're seeing go down in the No Way Home trailers, mm-hmm. there's one person that can definitely fix this. There, uh, Yes. And all you have to do is stick an actress in a chair. And tell her to be very kind to Peter, even the, though very stern. The actress uh, I wanted passed away, um, but I do have a backup actr- actress that I like for it. Hmm. Um, but fun fact, in the 90s uh, animated show, uh, Madam Web was voiced by Stanley's wife. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So. Uh, but back to Across the Spider-Verse. Uh, we see very little. It's a teaser. Mm-hmm. Um, would you see a very buff 2099 throwing something on Miles and then throwing him? And then catching back up to him. And, and throwing him. Yeah, and then throwing him again. And it's it's strange. Hopefully we figure out what the hell that's about. And <laughs> uh, no confirmation or denial from any of the other individuals. So I don't know if Nick Cage is back for noir. I, I, I don't, don't know. know. Um, I, I don't know if Mulaney's back for Spider-Ham. I know he's been going through a lot of stuff. Um, this movie's not set to come out until the end of next year, though. So they have a lot of time to, to get it uh, consorted. And hopefully we'll see another trailer before that happens. Because I would like to see... Oh, we'll course. see plenty of trailers. Oh, yes. Um, but... The yeah. real question is, who's going to be the bad guy? Visco's locked up. Hmm. I mean, you're traversing another multiverse. Who's to say that you're not going to run into that... Uh, another Fisk. Another Fisk or another Peter Parker clone. Like Ben Riley or like yep. an evil Ben Riley. Y- yes. Okay. Or worse, the the Punisher from that world figuring out that that's the, the Spider-Man. And then I don't know if they'll go that dark. You don't think they'll go that no. dark? No. I am worried they're going to kill Miles' dad, though. Yeah. Or his mom. That would be worse. I mean... Because we don't really have much connectivity with the mother. Uh, in the game, we do. In the game, we do? Uh, yeah, in the Miles game I'm playing. Um, hmm. You have a lot, uh, because in that She's universe, a nurse, right? Uh, she is running for, like being the head of like uh the like, district for harlem or something like that now. nice yeah um, right. but i think she was a nurse yeah i think you're right yeah she was she she, well, I, she was I remember nurse. in in uh, into the spider-verse that there was a uh, a scene at the very beginning where she's like have you checked your blah 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 levels you know and so yeah. on and so forth and made sure that he was but medically sound. one of the big things is that you know miles had pretty much one storyline the comics and now all these other things are doing new storylines like miles and peter and being both around during the game is Mm. not at all how it goes down in the ultimate universe oh peter spoilers peter dies in the ultimate universe and that's when miles is like i have to step i need to step up yeah because he does he have all that electricity punchy uh, invisibility i I think he eventually adapts a lot of it and i don't think i don't think he starts out with it but i think it all shows up over time okay i'm excited for it Speaking of excited, uh, Quincy never saw this during yeah, the I Disney. Yeah, missed this on Disney Plus. Day. Yeah, and uh, it shows Oscar Isaac, Isaac Oscar, Oscar Isaac, Oscar Isaac. Yes, people with multiple first names, I often mix up. It, gotcha. It's strange for it's me. Understandable. Yeah, but um, a very interesting trailer that has a lot of dynamic lighting. 
a lot of dynamic lighting. Like whoever did the lighting for all of these scenes wanted to make sure that lighting was the focus in everything. What I really like is it, it does look dark, which yes. has been a big thing that, you know, Kevin Feige finally came out and confirmed that I like the way he the way he went about it was like if we ever happen to do Daredevil, it'll definitely be Charlie Cox. It's like, dude, we already know you're doing Daredevil. Yeah, and he's we like, well, know. I mean, if we were gonna, no. First of all, you, you announced you're doing an Echo show, so well, Echo's gonna I show mean, up. If we were Second of all, we've seen the leaked fucking photos. We know well, that I mean, Daredevil's coming. I mean, if we were gonna do it. Although he did recently fucking say that Venom is fucking coming over. Yeah. Uh, so we got a question. Moon Knight. Um, Moon Knight is a Marvel character. Um, he's probably more closely to the Marvel version of Batman than Iron Man is, except for the fact that he's got a lot of mental issues. Yeah, in de- well, depending on which one you go with. Cause kind of just in general, because he's got it, more than one it, personality in a sense. Right. Because uh, the the last run that I read, uh, he starts off in an, in an insane asylum when he he's looking up at a TV, seeing him and Spider-Man working together, and he says, that's me. I did that. And, of course, being in an insane asylum, they're like, what are you talking? Shut up. It even goes into another level uh, with one of them where they're not just saying, no, you're not Moon Knight. They're saying there is no Moon Knight. This has all been something you've made up in your head. That, too. Um, I like the fact that the chat went through and spelled it Moon Knight, and then... Uh, <laughs> M-O-C-N Knight. Yeah. Yeah, because of the, uh, the crooks. The crescent yeah. Moon. Um... Like, the covers are just so good. Yeah. Moon Knight's a very interesting one because it, it delves into, you know, mental health. But not, not even necessarily health because he's not really getting the help he needs. Yeah. This is the, the new one here. Um, this is the not front new one. This is like well, five years old. Yeah. 2016. You're right. But this was the last one that I had read yeah. where he starts off like that. And then every time he puts on that, that cowl over his head, he begins to go further and he sees the world as this ancient Egyptian landscape. And he's just like the hidden enemies. Yeah. Th- those who, those who speak on, on their behalf in the mass. Yeah, Cause that's another thing is he's, he's given not necessarily power. I, I guess you could say his energy to be what he is. Yes. Comes from an Egyptian God that has decided to work with him. Um, I like it. Yeah, I like it a he's, lot. he's a very I'm, interesting uh, character. I, I'd enjoy him a, a good amount. Um, he's fought some pretty interesting people, and right there, I do believe that is uh, mm-hmm. that's uh, Kang, right? Kang the Conqueror. Yeah. Um, which leads me into you know one of those things of we're going to start seeing a lot of people showing up now that Kang the Conqueror is going to be running around. Um, he is in the reflection of the new Ant Man and Wasp poster. Oh, is he? King the Conqueror can be seen in the reflection of the helmet. Mm, I don't know what to think about that, but I'm excited all the same. So, um, yeah, Moon Knight's a fun character. I really like the the white suit with the hood look. Mm. Don't get me wrong, I love the 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 like hood with the cape, but he's actually got like a business suit. Yeah. That's all white, and then, like, a kind of a refined version of the hood that looks really cool. Yeah. Probably yeah. be the cosplay. I would do if I were to cosplay as Moon Knight. Yeah. I, I haven't finished that part yet, because it kind of, I don't want to say slowed down, but it kind of got muddy after issue four or five. Oh, gotcha. I was confused on what we were talking about. For yeah, sorry. Um, yeah, after, like, issue four or five, it started getting a little muddy because there's a lot of characters I don't know about, and they, he was referencing them as if I should know about them. Mm-hmm. And I'm like, mm, you fill in the gaps. Writers, fill in the gaps. Because to, to your new readers, that ain't... That, no, see, I remember there's been reboots and all kinds of things. Right. Like so. We got one last news story for you guys today. I'm excited. Uh, so they dropped the uh, opening for... Uh, Demon Slayer season two, and I am excited. It looks great. Um, it is the Entertainment District arc, I believe, and I'm just excited for it. it if you want to go check it out, um, just look up Demon Slayer opening uh, season two opening. It'll be right there, plain as day. I brought it up on my Twitter because I liked where I got it from. This is where I saw it. This is where I brought it up. And with that, I. I think we're good to call it on an early one if you want to call it on an early one. Let's call it. 
Um, we thank you guys for being here, and we thank you all for that are listening. Not live. I don't know how to phrase that. Not live. Oh, to to those who are listening after. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, we're, we're thankful for you too. And just because you're not here doesn't mean we're not thankful for you. Yes. So, um, we are getting closer to the holidays, um, and I it, my goal is still to get him in a Christmas sweater. We'll see. We'll see. <laughs> um, hurry up, get your shopping done. Uh, have a uh, have a safe shopping season. It's crazy out there. It is very cre- like we're not even in any of the shopping districts, and there was a pain in the ass getting over here. Yeah. Yeah. Tell a friend, tell an enemy, tell a friend of me. Remember to like, subscribe, all that nonsense. Check out the links down in the descriptions if you want to talk with us or support us in any way, shape, or form. I think that's it, right? That was pretty uniform. I like that. Yeah. Yeah. Thank we you, everybody. We have to script that out for him so we can do it every time. I mean, <laughs> I, sure. Whatever. Bye, Bye, everybody. Y'all.